Other interesting business news, Costco claims that the card membership scanners at the front of the stores are actually a big benefit to consumers uh, for reasons. Now, this is coming as most businesses are trying to really decrease the amount of shrinkage and theft at the stores and they're trying to make sure that, you know, they're staying afloat. Now, Costco, one of the reasons their products are so cheap is because they sell memberships. They really don't make any money on the actual food and, you know, knickknacks you go to the store to purchase. It's all about those memberships, which is why they have to be so strict on letting people in the store. Because again, if you don't have a membership, you go and buy something, they just lost money. Now, this is fascinatingly enough, brought to us thanks to Fox Business, which is somehow still in business. I can't help but think I account for maybe 1% or 2% of their total network traffic these days, checking out their new segment. Now, it's specifically credited to uh, Breck Dumas. She, she is right over there. They say, quote, Costco touts success of card scanner rollout speeds up checkout process. Yeah, and then they say customers have seen the benefits of the membership card scanners, Costco says. Which, I mean, to be frank, I would just be more blunt if I was an executive at Costco and say, this is how we keep prices from not going up and we're able to not, you know, jack up the prices because every time someone steals from the store, we're losing money. And especially in this economy, can't have that. Now, scroll down the actual stuff. So you see the stock price is still astonishingly good, though again, not financial advice. $900 per share. Granted, by the time this video is rendered and uploaded, they'll change. That's what the stock market does. But uh, yeah, another hindsight 2020. We should invest in that a couple of years ago, right? There you can see an iconic Costco card. And they say, quote, Costco is already reaping the benefits after recently introducing membership card scanners at the front of the warehouses in U.S. stores. And the move is being well received by consumers. During the fourth quarter earnings call, CEO Ron Verchais noted that the company had used the card readers in the front of the stores in Europe for more than two years has now been piloting the system in the U.S. for roughly six months. I continue to say, quote, he pointed in several ways that the scanners help Costco improve operational efficiencies at stores, which that part I, that part I could definitely see, especially I don't think they yet utilize facial recognition software. They have, you know, cameras at the front of stores that actually count how many people are going in and out of stores. So if you have something like a, you know, an actual car that you're checking in, that would help them a lot with the foot traffic analytics a little bit more. Now, he also says, quote, it gives our operations real-time traffic counts throughout the day, so we're able to adjust the front-end lines, and we're able to open and close lines based on the fluctuations of business, which, again, makes, makes sense. You're able to, the more data you have, the better you're able to kind of plan, hey, if you see X amount of people are going to the store on a Thursday or Friday, what have you, you need to have extra employees on site to help facilitate the checkout processes more quickly, um, more quickly and convenient for the consumers. So, again, that makes sense. That, that is an upside, but it is funny how they uh, frame some of this other stuff. It says, quote, we can also monitor our fresh foods a little bit better because we know what traffic counts look like and so forth. And it's also been uh, taking the friction of membership verifications away from the front and registers and moving to the front door where people are able to look at people's member status, which, again, you're still having the same action, but you're just moving it. So, I mean, the, the time to check the card is still the same. You're just moving it from when you first get to the, or you get the cash register versus getting to the store. It's, Still the same amount of time maybe the and you're, i think we'll see how the analytics come out in terms of maybe this will help contribute to their sales increase or decrease or what have you but it would seem as if you're just moving the bottleneck and creating a new one you're not actually getting rid of it i mean if you want to actually eliminate this completely it'd be creepy and i don't think the consumers especially the united states from a privacy concern i don't think they would accept it but if you want to actually increase it rapidly we just have facial recognition software so the second you walk into the store, they know you're a member already. That would be you eliminating that whole process and that manual labor in terms of having the card scanned and, you know, having the person take it out of their wallet. And you remove that completely, that would save time and also help them with all the statistics that they want and also decrease, you know, be a little awkward. You have all the robots say, oh yeah, you know, they point at you and go, not one of us or something like that. Maybe you probably asked to kind of, you know, step aside what have you. Maybe you had to zit on your face or something, but that I think would actually would be a better or a technically better solution. I don't know, culturally be accepted. Now, they say that quote, the Costco sh uh, chief also added that the scanners would allow customers to be notified if their membership renewals are due before they reach the end of the store, which, I mean, who cares? I mean, the amount of people who renew, I'm pretty sure is so ridiculously high in terms of customer retention. I don't think they're going to get the store, get the checkout and go, oh yeah, do you want to renew? They're going to be upset. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone, they're already there for the products. They see the value. I can't but think that kind of moot point. Now, they also say that quote, and the membership card scanners install the front doors and deliver the goal of speeding up the checkout process. They've been very received by many customers. Maybe. 
The CEO also said that the members are, quote, very excited about being able to check inventory through the new warehouse inventory tool that Costco recently rolled out as some customers via the mobile app. Which, yeah, that could help, I guess, if you had more interactive map to find specifically where it's at the store. I know their competitors have done that throughout the years. Uh, let's see here. But yeah, they're claiming it's, claiming it's going to be more convenient and great, and great. It's awesome. And yet, when I look at the comments, not granted, this is just a small snippet of data, but the comics, uh, the comments are not so great. Now, going down to the comments here, there you can see the iconic Kirkland Signature Deli. A couple of other aisles there. Uh, one of the first ones coming is from ZZ Pug saying, quote, last, week when, uh, last weekend, the line out the door at the Costco and check out our receipts was so long it blocked all the registers. A slight pause at the front entrance showing your card isn't the problem. It's mainly the bottleneck created by having membership returns and uh, amid the exit in the SAM, uh, same area. Got 50 upvotes, which, yeah, I forget. Yeah, they're, when I anecdotally, again, small sample size, but when I go to Costco, I do see there are a lot of people returns, and usually that line is all the way out the store. Now, you also have Robert saying, quote, whatever, open more registers so the line doesn't count 10 cards deep. Our store has eight registers, rarely more than one open, or two open. Getting 18 likes, which, yeah, it's been an issue. That seems to be an issue in retail, as long as I can remember. You see the register there. They have the components. They have the infrastructure. They have the technology. They just don't have the labor to fulfill it, or they're on break. They also have a majority saying, quote, as a regular Costco shopper, I can say that the hard check machine is neither a big deal nor a bad deal. I can't imagine anyone being excited about it. Getting 29 up votes, which... Yeah, it is kind of funny because I don't think any customer is exuberant or happy about this. Some might be mildly annoyed or moderately interested, but it's like it's kind of like when Microsoft has a pop-up on your screen and says, "Do you?" Can, can, I'll scale one to ten. How much would you recommend this OS to a friend? It's like unless you're an IT geek or you're like nerd like me, like you don't talk OSs or operating systems to people. And those conversations don't pop up, Microsoft. We need you to understand. Now, other top comments coming from Jerry said, "Quote." While I'm not excited about the increase in membership fee, Costco is in a fiscal position where it's completely unnecessary to raise the fee. Excuse me. Sorry about that. A little, maybe a little cold something this week. But, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I think they do it every, historically, it's been every couple of years. And you use the inflation calculator, they kind of had to. I actually did a whole article earlier this year saying how they should increase the membership fee even more because even when they increased, I think it was 5 to $10, depending on the membership level, it still doesn't keep it up in, with inflation. They were still behind, even with the small increase they, they had done. Now you also have, let me see here, Brian 4K saying, want to make a better shopping experience? Don't close 80% of the checkout lines. Gain 25 likes. See. Chris Car uh, Carnell says, shoppers are not very excited. Good grief. It's amazing how companies always try to convince you that they do something to help you, even though it clearly helps them. I've never seen, quote, for your convenience, we've added service fee, lol. I got 11 upvotes, which, uh, yeah, I want to say I called it, but, uh, yeah. We'll do one more. Real uh, Kaiser says, quote, I don't know how much the membership is, but the summer trip we got $761 back. Costco is great for our family. Prime rib buys at Costco are really good and reasonably priced, getting eight upvotes. Which, yeah, it looks like someone else commented said that you can get that money back. You're overcharged. They made a refund. Uh, contrarian statement, Raphael, or you know, another contrarian statement, Paliano says, I like Sam's Stand and Go, getting 12 likes, which is the major competitors of Sam's Club, which, of course, is part of the Walmart portfolio. So, yeah, it'll be, uh, again, Costco historically does great. I mean, they have one of the best values in terms of all the products you can buy in there. And, shoot, especially if you have a family, it is a phenomenal thing to kind of do from a shopping experience. But, yeah, I wonder, what will they really do to actually eliminate the bottlenecks? And, again, most of the feedback we got is, Open up more registers. Now, granted, that does cost a lot of money. Oh, the cost of the registers in terms of the, in terms of the actual infrastructure is basically nothing. As Lady McCown has said, it's already there. But the human capital, the cost of the people that actually run the registers, that is what really adds up, especially in the aggregate. So I wonder, I'm sure they also have seasonality when you have, you know, holidays like, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas. They probably do increase it because they know that's going to be even more un than unusual uh, demand. But I wonder what it would take to actually open up a couple more registers permanently to have someone, you know, standing there full time to help assist clients. I think in terms of all the feedback, granted it's a small sample size, I think Costco should probably focus on stuff like that as opposed to, you know, you know moving this card check-in. But let me know in the comments because, as always, I'd be fascinated to hear what you have to say.
Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.